Hey guys, what's up? So today I had to wake up early. I have a lot to do. I'm gonna dye my hair. I'm gonna be vlogging this whole day. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about honestly like the future of this channel and everything. Yo, honestly, it's like it's just a vlog. I this is the first ever vlog on this channel. I think I said that once. I was actually gonna film a video a couple days ago, but I had this fat pimple on my forehead, and uh, yeah, that stopped me from making it. But not today though, because it it healed. So, I'm gonna go take a shower, I'll come back, show you guys me making some breakfast, and then we'll just be on our way. Also, I did want to talk just a little bit about manifestation or like touch on it because it's a little bit interesting about how it's like blowing up all over YouTube and TikTok and everything. I mean, everyone's also just memeing it, saying like manifest this, manifest that, and yeah, it's pretty funny. So today, I'll be manifesting my black hair into a new color. You good? Yoshi, you good? So this is my hair without any products on it. You can see very flat, very thin, very like boring. That's why I always use products on it. I'll tell you guys later why I decided to dye my hair. But uh, one of the bonuses or the main reasons is because I like my hair being fried and dead because it adds just like a little bit of texture to it too. And when I'm like curling my hair with a flat iron, that's what I'm trying to achieve too. It's like this dead look, messy and bleaching it yeah makes it a little bit easier for me so like i'm not even worried about hair damage and worst case scenario honestly dude if my hair falls out i've been kind of thinking about like going short hair anyways that's like a that's like a dark evil thought going bald i'm not worried about anything even if the color doesn't end up the way i want it to which is i asked for a plot blonde as possible and even if it doesn't end up like that which i'm not even expecting it to be um super light or anything like I'm not even expecting it to be super light or anything like I don't know because I've never had my hair super light bleaching it it's never been what I wanted so I just have no expectations yet <sighs> anyways I'm like super late I gotta go I'm gonna go I don't know where I can park so I'm just gonna drive to the station and then train the rest of the way. All right, I'll see you guys.
Holy. Dude. Honestly, I've never worn those face masks for that long before. And I think uh, the appointment started at 11.30 and we ended at around 3, 3.30. But I didn't, yeah, so I wore the whole mask for like a solid four hours actually. This lighting and everything, honestly, it's kind of I'm going to go, I'm going to go move the car. Hey, what do you guys think? Honestly, I love it, dude. Holy like, honestly, I have been waiting three years to get this. Like, this is what I wanted to do since I ever wanted to dye my hair. Thing is, was like, I, I just never have been able to. Because I did it at home and then I went to like another home. Uh, so this was my first time at like a salon salon. And yeah, dude, I'm actually like super happy with it. I think I'm just still like letting it sink in because I can't believe it actually turned out, I guess, white because I just like lost expectations for anything. Like I said, it's so much nicer now that it's textured and fried. Honestly, I could just come out the shower, dry it up and be happy with it. So it's gonna make like everything a lot easier. I've been spending most of my time on Twitch these days. If you think I've been MIA, I actually have not been. I've been on Twitch. We have a fat Discord server that's actually so active. Like our Discord server for its uh, quantity, its quality is very high. It's super high. Like actually our Discord server might even hit um, partner status soon. So if you haven't joined the Discord, join it. People are really nice. All I'll say is like, if you're very young, try not to be i guess one of the first rules i put on our discord server is like you know this server is 18 plus but at the end of the day it's all about the mental age just don't come in there being like hi where's nick can i talk to him just be be cool just like yeah just don't do that i'm on the server you can talk to me anytime but like i'm just your friend on the server right i'm not like an idol don't look up to me i've made so many friends with you guys man I guarantee you, if you look at the comments right now, a lot of them are sort of like inside jokes and stuff because I've befriended a lot of people ever since I started Twitch and I love it. And I wanna be friends with even more people. So if you want to go check out the Discord server and not even be friends with me, but with the other people on the server, definitely check it out. People post fit pics, food, they just talk all day. They play video games together in voice chat. It's really, really crazy. And you know, the thing is people leave all the time, but it's very hard to get new people to come in. So like one person can make a huge difference on our server and I would like greatly appreciate that. Why did I dye my hair though? Because I wanted change, that's it. I just want to change. I mean, that's the reason most people dye their hair, right? I mean, most people dye their hair for like no other reason either. They just, they're bored. And then you get bored and you dye it back or whatever. Eventually I'm probably gonna dye my hair green, blue or red. Not, not all three, but like one of them the window bit i just wanted to talk also a little bit about the future i have never made a life update video on this channel before so this is gonna be my first one here because uh it's a, my channel is about to change dramatically i think or like aesthetically dramatically as well as content wise focus wise everything like the theme of it and uh most importantly the channel name so as you guys know if you're watching like right now right now the channel name is Nick. Nick. That's it, dude. I guarantee you, if some of you guys tried searching out my channel on YouTube, you had a hard time finding it. Like, you can't just type in Nick and find it. You could if you scroll down a lot. But you're going to find, like, Nick Nickocado, Avocado, Nick Jr., uh, Nick Jonas. I don't know. The reason I knew that, like, going into YouTube, I had an idea that that was going to happen. But I thought, like, you know, that's going to be a motivating factor for me that one day I will be big enough where you search up Nick and I'm the first thing you see. But let's be honest. Right now, people are searching in Nick fashion, Nick how I edit my Instagram photos, Nick, Nick this, Nick that. It's like insane. I've hesitated to change the name for so long because I brought it up one time on Instagram if I should change my name and people got mad aggressive. They just like went at me saying, why would you change your name? Like what the, like WTF is Koi, which is what I originally wanted to change it to. Koi, by the way, is my middle name. And yeah, people are just mad for no reason. I realized for no reason, because at the end of the day, if I change it, 
it's not gonna make a difference like no one actually cares and if anything it's better you guys can find my channel easier you guys can tell other people about my channel easier as well as like it's just more unique you know i want to appear on like google images i guess so yeah let's talk about that a little bit the channel name the channel name i'm going with is koki koki k-o-q-i not cocky not coochie koki so my past couple videos i'd say maybe my last five or six videos i have been extremely disappointed by them i i, I really hated it i made most of those videos purely to do well on youtube because i just wanted my twitch to be more successful like gain a bigger reach this time i'm not even back for like to get reach i actually just want to be back seeing all these youtubers right now um i i finally see again like you know what else i can offer what else i can do just be myself like i realized if i made videos that i actually enjoy and put in beyond the effort like crazy editing crazy shots or just like go out of my way to vlog like today even though that's not a lot dude so many youtubers vlog but you guys know my youtube channel i've never vlogged before this is the most like adventurous video i've done besides sitting in my room and talking right so yeah that's what it is i'm bringing back fashion videos like for sure bringing it back one of the first things i want to do is bring back outfit submissions so you guys can like go onto our discord server my discord server the community discord server post your outfit and you might have a chance to be on the next youtube video if it's related to fashion. I wanna do sit down talk videos about fashion and I also want to do more DIY videos. I don't actually DIY a lot of clothing at all. Like there are a lot of people out there who are so much better than me, but I am, I really wanna learn how to edit videos. I mean, no, what the? Boy! I really wanna learn how to make clothing. Like DIY, with the, I wanna learn how to use a sewing machine. I wanna learn how to use, I don't know what else. I wanna learn how to use a sewing machine. Boy! I want to take like this DIY stuff to the next level, but I also want to make really accessible stuff like that other video painting my denim What else is big? I'm gonna stop swearing Like genuinely stop swearing no more <laughs> Just I'm gonna be clean. I can do it and if I swear just like censor it out, right? I personally don't care about it. I don't even care if other people do it, but um, you know even if I think it's okay to swear who cares you know it's the easiest thing to not do and i think it can make the videos a lot more enjoyable for a lot of uh, people maybe even like really young people for sure for sure oh also guys i've been like looking so much into manifestation stuff because honestly we've all probably seen it everywhere tiktok youtube i see it everywhere like they're like Two girls literally on YouTube that are blowing up for manifestation. TikTok, you got the two cup method. I don't know what's happening. First of all, do I believe in manifestation? 100%. There's literally nothing to not believe in manifestation. If you if you like are pessimistic or doubt it, you just, you honestly, you just don't get it yet. I do agree though, the way some of these people talk about manifestation is weird. It's, it feels like they're talking about a pyramid scheme or something or like some like weird thing. But think about it for a sec, okay? Why would any of these people Talk about manifestation why would they lie to you for views and stuff maybe maybe because maybe they're delusional and they believe in it maybe maybe but i i'll tell you that like the the core of manifestation is actually pretty simple it's all about changing your mindset and that is something that i have been trying to preach my entire time on youtube it's all about changing the mindset it's everything your mind is everything dude you're not born into any way you are not who you are because you were born that way. You are who you are because you think that. That's it. And yeah, dude, it's legit. But I, I'm gonna take my time, do as much research as I can, make sure I just cover everything I wanna talk about if I do make a manifestation video. And I promise you guys, like, I don't wanna alien. I don't know why I feel like it's such a, like, a controversial thing to talk about when it's really not because i haven't seen many controversial uh, arguments against manifestation i also bought this wide angle lens so i can vlog i don't know how many times have i said i bought a camera to vlog once actually i said it once yo you know in the future i'm gonna actually cut my hair like super short because i'm really done with the k-pop comparisons i hate them I don't know why people even bring it up. You look like Kim Samuel, you look like um, him, you look like... I mean, like, it's really flattering for sure. I think these K-pop idols and stuff, um, full homo, they're good looking, dude. Full homo, they're good looking. I, 
like I think these K-pop idols, these dudes, like full homo dude, they're good looking. But I don't want I don't want you guys to be watching me because I look like your BTS. You know? Going bold, actually a lot of guys have done that just because they don't want people to perceive them their image based on how they like physically look. But at the same time, you know, I say that and I dye my hair like this. I wear clothing. Like obviously there's like some perception that I'm trying to percept but i just don't want every comment to be about k-pop i love k-pop i love korean r&b i love all of that i listen to so much of it but you but i'm not even gonna talk about it anymore like you get it because at the end of the day dude if i make content that's beyond looking like an idol then you guys will like notice me for that yeah like if i physically am overshadowing what i'm trying to trying to make what i'm trying to say then that's my problem that's not your problem i'm gonna film my mom's reaction and my she knows i did it but like every asian mom she is an asian mom so i don't know i think it'll be interesting i actually don't know what to expect maybe i feel like she's gonna say it looks bad because she thought it was gonna look bad i think so we'll see wow bro with these lights in my room my hair just uh, literally changes color that's crazy I don't know why, but I like the mullet 10 times more now, now that it's dyed. Maybe because it looks more intentional. Whereas when it's black, it looks like I just haven't cut my hair for those six months in quarantine. My mom isn't home yet, I haven't showed it to her, but I'ma predict, I feel like I know what she's gonna say. She's gonna be like, Oh honey, oh Nick, oh sweetie, like, oh like, or just like some like passive aggressive disapproval. Like she knows, she already has an idea that'll be bad. And when she sees it, I think she's still like gonna think it's bad because she thinks it's like too washed out for my skin, which like obviously I get, right? I have really light skin, but in my opinion, it's like, who cares? It's not about looking good. It's about sending a message. Just like clothing, dude, clothing isn't about looking good. But anyways, it'd be pretty funny if I'm right about that. All of a sudden I feel nervous showing my mom, but pray for me guys. You washed out. Oh my gosh, honey. What do you Look think? at you. Wow. Well, it's nice. Like, like the color is good because it's um, like there's no brass. There's nothing like it's truly. truly it's really white. Black. She said it's the whitest that like she ever did for an Asian. Really? Like one of the whitest, yeah. Yeah, it's really white. But because you're so you're so light, like your you know your skin is fair. That's why it's like really wow. I like it a lot. You like it? It's crazy. It's like so white. It is. Like the, the color is really white. Like I like almost like more than Barbie white. You know what I, I mean? know. It's like it's not there. Yeah, like, I really like it. You, you're like, I don't see it even you. Where are you? Like, you know? <clears throat> 100 percent my mom would have flamed way harder if it wasn't for this fat camera pointing at my face. So let me say thank you guys. You guys saved me. Quick thought I forgot to say. Every great artist, every great rapper has gone through one of their most creative phases with blonde hair. I'm just like trying to catch that vibe too. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Thrifting videos and a lot of things, dude. I want to do so much. They're coming. Until then, Koki. Out, yo, peace. Onion gaze yo, Kim Samuel Opar out, okay? Onion gaze yo, Kim's. S Filming YouTube videos are weird, dude. I've never filmed, like, honestly, in front of people. How do I do this? Thank you for watching Koki, Nick appreciates it, turning on the bell always helps. Sorry I sound so creepy, Nick designed me like this. I love you guys more than Nick. Don't forget to check out the Discord.